Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have another video of my maintenance database on Microsoft Access. Today we are going to go through the quarterly maintenance, how to schedule a quarterly maintenance. So when you open the database, this is the first screen that you see. So when you want to schedule the quarterly maintenance, you go to the preventive maintenance portal and it shows you the preventive maintenance dashboard so when you before you schedule the quarterly maintenance for a particular equipment make sure that you've already added the e equipment and the email on on your email on the database which it, which can be uh, put in through several entry points on the portal the easiest way to do it if you are on the preventive maintenance dashboard you go here on the add equipment and email list so when you go here it gives you an option to put in the uh, equipment and add pictures and emails you can add multiple emails and separate them by a semicolon and similar to this so you can also add pictures so this information I've already added uh, multiple equipment on here so once you're done put in the email you close it and then you make sure that you've added the details or the descriptions of the uh, preventive maintenance that you're performing on the equipment so here is where you do it so you add the specific information and then you link it up to a particular equipment that you want to maintain or the equipment that you've added on on the previous uh, screen so once you add once you type in uh, the description or the job list or, or the details of what you want to perform you close out of this and then you start scheduling the uh, quarterly maintenance so on this red font here uh, it's just a reminder which shows up for for the quarterly it shows up 14 days before the maintenance is due. So quarterly is every three months of the year. So um, for 14 days before the PM is due, the preventive maintenance is due, this reminder shows up telling you that you have a PM that is due. Also, before the PM is three days before the PM is due, you also receive an email after the PM is scheduled. So just, let's assume that you want to schedule a PM. Just go to this and click here and this portal shows up. So this, it, the reason why you have this already filled out, it filled out is PMs that are due, that are going to be due in a few days. Today is the third. This is due on the fifth, uh, which is why you have four four quarterly that are due so if you can see this we have four that are due with all this information so if you want to schedule another PM you just go to the scroll to the bottom which is just the last one and then you put in the equipment and then you put in the PM description you put in the name of the technician if you have a service company that comes in to maintain it you put the service company's name uh, and then you add the notes then add whatever link if, if a link is needed to maintain the equipment you can add the link here and then if you use uh, some parts you can add the parts that you use if you have the cost of the part it's there as well it automatically populates and then if after you're done with the maintenance you can add the hours calculate the hours it tell you can just add the hours it takes you to maintain it which is uh something that is done after the maintenance is completed but now we're just trying to initiate uh, a maintenance so it sends us a reminder so after that we have a cost repair that shows up and there are three asterisk here one two three that has to be filled that filled out in order for the maintenance to be scheduled so here you add today's 
date is the third. So we since it's uh, a quarterly, which is three months, we want to backdate it just for the tutorial purpose. Of course, if it's not for the tutorial purpose and you want to start scheduling three months from now, all you have to do is just click today's date, which is the third, and then it will uh, schedule it three months from now. So after that, you... Um, well, just for the tutorial purpose, we want to go back three months. So that way we see the email notification that it sends. So we want to... Yes, yeah, so today's date is the third. We want to schedule it on the fifth which is two days from now and because we want to see the email notification just for the tutorial purpose so I've already filled that this three mandatory column so the PM is already scheduled now so let's save and close so in order for this to refresh I have to close this form but first let's let's just make a note that this is four quarterly after we refresh it it will change to five so let's close the form and then go back in. It refreshes and now you see it's five quarterly PM due. So, and also the timer sends, sends out an email every five seconds. So, which means that the email has already been sent telling me that I have a PM, a quarterly PM that is due in three days, in less than, in less than three days. Basically, so you can see it right here. It tells me the period, quarterly plan maintenance, and just a, a notification that, that's telling me that my a, a PM is due. So that's that's it. Um, if you want to see uh, view completed PM and incomplete PMs, you can also go to uh, the quarterly. And when you check this box, it shows you when you check the box, it shows you the PM that is due, which is nothing right that has been completed, which is none. If you click here, it shows you PM that is not complete. So you save and close. If you want to sh want it to show you all the PM that are due, that have been completed and not completed, and also in the spreadsheet format, you click here and it gives you everything. All right. So if you want the database, if you want to. Uh, purchase the database just go to the link in my description if you have any uh, questions just send me an email my email is also in the link below uh, thank you for staying to the end of this tutorial I look forward to sending another video all right thank you let's go to my email and you can see it right here it tells me the period quarterly plan maintenance and just a notification that, that's telling me that my a, a PM is due. So that's that's it. Um, if you want to see uh, view completed PM and incomplete PMs, you can also go to uh, the quarterly. And when you check this box, it shows you when you check the box, it shows you the PM that is due, which is nothing right that has been completed, which is none. If you click here, it shows you PM that is not complete. So you save and close. If you want to sh want it to show you all the PM that are due, that have been completed and not completed, and also in the spreadsheet format, you click here and it gives you everything. All right. So if you want the database, if you want to uh, purchase the database, just go to the link in my description. If you have any uh questions just send me an email my email is also in the link below uh, thank you for staying to the end of this tutorial i look forward to sending another video all right thank you